Hi everyone, we have another great week here at Groovy. Uh, the weather's amazing. We've got plants outside. We're planting thousands of baby plants. We've got lots of plants and pots in the store and food trucks and Girl Scouts for the weekend. Another amazing weekend is ahead of us. Our outside potting saloon is open and so we have pottery outside and pottery in the back area where we've had it all winter. So we have double the pottery in the store right now and the team's been working really hard getting our areas full and prepped for spring. So we've got lots of cute pots to choose from right now. We got to restock on some new interesting pots we've never had before. And the weather is amazing. The planting team has been planting tons of baby plants. We have a video coming out in the next couple of days showing you the process of getting young plants in to planting them up and filling the greenhouses. But here's a greenhouse full of young plants. Right here we have scented geraniums. Those are your plants that keep the mosquitoes away. Keep your eye out. We are going to be doing a May pre-order for that soon. Um, begonias and lots of grasses, just lots of great perennials in here that are growing and um, we're so excited about spring. Over here are dormant perennials that we overwintered from the fall season and some of them are ready for sale now and we'll show you those in a second in the store. But these guys are just waiting for the weather to break to start growing. Lavender is out and this is a perennial lavender that you can plant right now and if a plant is outside in our store it is hardened off and you can get it in the ground. So if your ground is soft enough to actually dig in you can get any of these plants in your ground now. So lavender needs well drained areas and full sun and this is a perennial so it'll come back for you as long as you give it what it needs. We have some hellebores in the shop right now. I've been posting about these a little bit recently, but the hellebores are out and we've seen honeybees on them today because of the warmth. They've been coming out of their hives, checking out the um, nectars that they can find. And next week, don't forget, that's our hellebore hullabaloo. So not this weekend, but next weekend, the first weekend of March is Friday, Saturday, Sunday is our big hullabaloo. So thousand hellebores and food trucks. This weekend we do have hellebores out though so if you can't make it for that there are still some you can shop now. Even more hellebores. Look at all the options we have. We've got lots of beautiful um, court perennials out right now. I've got dianthus in front of me as well as many in flower behind me. Lots of great new things in the schoolhouse. Um, I've got some smudge sticks going in the store right now. Look how cute this one is with the chakras and this one is a lavender and they smell amazing. We also have these cute propagation chambers, so if you have been looking for a little thing to propagate your house plants with and you don't have a cute container, we have some for you. We also have a restock on our Diffenbachia crocodile, and this is a really cool plant because it's got these crazy texture on the back side of the leaf, so it's got a nice coloration on the front, and then they've got crazy backs. I don't know of a whole lot of plants that have something uh, that look like that or that feel. So that's a cool one, great for a collection. And lots of citrus. So for those of you who missed out on citrus last week, we've got more in. So we've got two limes and two different kinds of lemons. And these are in bloom now, they smell amazing. And just come in to smell them, it is worth it because the smell of a lemon tree and a lime tree is intoxicating. We also sell a citrus fertilizer which will help them to rebloom next year using them now and then into next season that'll help you get them to fruit better and to rebloom. The orchid section is also looking fantastic. More of them are blooming so we get them in when they're just starting to bud up and that's the best way to ship them and then they begin to open while they're here and so we've got some really beautiful ones that have been opening up in the past week. I like the color around this guy right here how beautiful this yellow one is. Some of our dancing lady orchids are in bloom and this variety is a, is a fairly easy one to manage in the home. So if you have had difficulty with orchids in the past, these guys are a great option to choose. Watering is not particularly difficult for them. They rebloom really easily and they will just continue to grow. Some of our Sansevieria are blooming right now and um, they can take a while to bloom in the home. They like to be really well root bound before they bloom. And then they shoot up the stalk out of the middle. It will get fairly tall and they tend to have small white flowers and they have a pleasant, although not very strong scent. So um, that's a cool thing to see in the greenhouse that you don't necessarily see regularly in your house. And our exotic area, the plants that are a little harder to find, 
We got, did a restock on, so we've got some more unusual Hoyas in stock. We have some new Ring of Fire in. They're really nice. Five or six of those. Billy ATAs. The leaves are really beautiful on these guys. They're a decent size plant. Look how beautiful this elbow is. Look at that alocasia. You really can't beat the cool leaf shape and color on that guy. We got our hands on some really cool bromeliads. So look at the curl on this guy. And then some of them are in bloom. But bromeliads are one of me and Jared's favorite house plants. I think they're underrated, but they, they are very cool, have kind of an architectural look, and then they don't need a whole lot of care. So they're bright in direct light, and then water them when they're really dry like a succulent. So they're sort of the best of both worlds. Easy watering like a succulent, but they don't need a lot of sun. And um, they have really unusual leaf and textures. So um, they're, you know this guy's cool. Look at the color on this one. And then they have really interesting and somewhat exotic looking blooms. I mean, what other plant do you know that has a bloom like that? More bromeliads. This is one of our favorite, Cryptanthus Elaine. I mean, how can you beat that color? And the greenhouses are packed. They're just, I mean, there's so much plant material in here, it's hard to even pick what to talk about. Beautiful bamboo palm. Cast iron plants, and these are the Milky Way variegated ones. My favorite section, the ZZ section. I love ZZ plants, they're my favorite house plants. Calathea section looks really good right now. Nice rattlesnake plants, and above them, we have a huge area of string of hearts hanging baskets. So that's one that We've been growing these on for quite a while and we finally have a nice stock on them, nice selection of really full drapey baskets. And they happen to be blooming right now, which is just a fun bonus. Monsteras, of course, everyone's gateway house plant. Lots of beautiful options. So you've got your Swiss cheese vines as well as the Deliciosa, the larger plants we have them in four inch, six inch, and then of course, much, much larger pots. So we've got Monsteras for days for everybody's um, budget and room size. I got a leaf on that one. <laughs> really cool philodendron with these palmate leaves. Uh, you don't see a lot of houseplants with this kind of leaf shape. A small Prince of Orange, as well as some really nice small Macaulay's Finale. People get these two confused. They're very easy to get them confused. They are different. Some cute little Florida green philodendrons. Nice philodendron and pothos hanging baskets. Some cute mini tropicals. We got ferns in this section, some uh, mosses, and of course, just lots of assorted tropicals. So we try to keep our mini tropical selection full so that you can come and you can pick out your minis for your terrariums, fairy gardens, things like that. Peperomia, shumi red. The color on this really catches my eye every time I walk past it. It's a lot more saturated than a lot of your other peperomias. So the face packs are back in. Look at how cute this dinosaur is. And it does have a hole, which is the best way to keep your house plants happy. So here's the skull planter for those who've been asking. And if you can come and pick it up in the next three days, we have some listed on our website for sale that we will hold for you for pickup. So if you've been wanting one and you haven't been able to make it, head to the website which will have a link in the video for you to go purchase them now. Houseplant selection, looking awesome. So if you need a fiddle leaf fig, little leaf types, we have the larger leaf types, the floor plants, we have all different price points and sizes to fit um, your budget and your home. Restock on our mushrooms, so lots and lots more mushrooms this week and koi fish. So if you've been wanting to get some of the different sizes or colors, they're back in stock. That's it. Another great week at Groovy Plants Ranch this weekend. We're going to have a coffee truck on Saturday, tacos on Sunday, Girl Scout cookies on Saturday, outside plants. The weather's amazing. Lots of pottery. Just another beautiful weekend to visit. And if you don't make it out this weekend, enjoy being outside because it's amazing for February.